Welcome back. Today I have a really adorable snow cone design for you that goes perfect with these hot summer days. We're going to start out by putting two shapes together. This is something I learned in kindergarten this past year. So a circle and a triangle to create the shape of the snow cone. Next I'm going to take some Liquitex gesso to give a good base coat to the whole entire design so that our colors will be nice and vibrant and we won't need to make too many coats. Make sure that you stick around till the end of the video because this design has a couple different variations that I played around with and I think all of them came out really cute. We're going to go with a rainbow palette for this snow cone so it'll be nice and festive for summer and I'm going to take a pink chalk pencil and line out the paper cup of the cone and then also six lines of where our color is going to go on to the design. Jumping right into the color, I'm going to start with pink and then just go down the line until we have filled all six spaces of this little rainbow. This is the first coat. I do come back for a second coat. My paints are in various stages of deterioration, I guess you could say. So I am gonna come back and do a second coat and also kind of blend those lines together just slightly, but that doesn't matter a whole lot because these are going to get covered with some serious sparkle and it kind of helps those colors blend together as it is. You can see that the blue and purple paint are in definite need of a second coat, maybe even a third coat because they're a little bit watered down. So this is where I'm going to come back through and add the extra coats of paint to make sure the paint colors are nice and solid. And then to blend the lines between the colors, clean the brush off and dip it in clean water and have it just be kind of damp, slightly wet, and then run that damp brush across the line where the colors meet. Next, I'm coming back with the Liquitex Gesso to clean up the line of the paper cup. And then I'm gonna take some white apple barrel paint and just fill in the paper cup so it's nice and solid bright white. Now it's time to create that effect of the shaved ice. So I'm gonna start with this Folk Art Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint. I love this one, it's clear and iridescent really useful in so many ways so I'm going to give two coats of this over the snow cone because I just want this thing to sparkle and shine and have lots of dimension to give that look of the shaved ice. If you've been hanging around my channel for any length of time you know that I love my glitter paints and so I really went crazy with the glitter paint on this design and it's well worth it. The next glitter paint that I'm going to use, I actually don't like using in most situations. It's a glitterific, it's a very chunky glitter, and I've used it before, and it's just very gluey and gooey. It's beautiful, but just very hard to put on, but I knew it would be perfect for this design. So I'm going to scoop some out with a popsicle stick, and you're going to see how kind of gooey it is. It's almost like you have to spread it and pat it, as opposed to painting it on. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and kind of pat it and spread it into place. The edges are a little bit tricky, but you just kind of pat it into place and then smooth it. And then I've also wet the paintbrush a little bit to pat out kind of the lumps and bumps in the center of the snow cone so that it's nice, as smooth as I can get it. I'm gonna take a dotting tool and some bright pink paint and add just a very simple heart to the paper cone and make sure that you allow that chunky glitter to dry at least overnight before you do anything with it. So some variations, you could make the stripes go in a different direction, diagonal or maybe swirly, or you can use a dotting tool to create tiny snow cones with solid colors like this one on smaller stones, or you could put multiple smaller cones all on one rock like this one. This is hands down one of my favorite designs this year. I hope you enjoyed it just as much. If so, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check out one of these videos that I've got for you here. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch and I will see you next time.